Hey guys, Sean here. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you the easiest way to jailbreak your iPod Touch. As you can see here, I have the current version, which is the 1.1.2. So, the first thing we'll have to do is downgrade that to the version 1.1.1. Just so you all know, all the downloads will be available in the section of about this video. And any questions you have, I'll just feel free to ask them. So the first thing you wanted to do is open iTunes. As you can see, I have it open. And I've downloaded both the 1.1.1 and the 1.1.2 to my desktop. So the first thing you'll have to do, as I said, is downgrade it. So before hitting restore here, what you'll need to do is hold the shift key and click on restore and this box will open asking you where the file uh, to restore the iPod is so as I said I have it in the desktop as you can see I have the 1.1.1 and the 1.1.2 um, for this part we'll be using the 1.1.1 so you select that and you put open and it'll start extracting the software so unlike many other videos on YouTube I'll be showing you step by step I won't fast forward anything I won't stop anything you'll see exactly the way I'm seeing it so the first thing that will happen is the iPod will um, restore itself as you can see here it's preparing uh, while it's preparing I'll talk to you about some stuff uh, First of all, I've had some questions on whether it breaks your warranty or not. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't think so, but uh, I would have to say that you'd have to take your own risk on jailbreaking it. I've done it five times. I've had no problem. Um, uh, you can always restore it to factory settings, so I don't think there'd be much problem with jailbreaking it. I haven't had it bricked or anything like that. So, uh, apart from that, the apps you can get, you can get the iPhone apps, you can get uh, games, all that cool stuff. So, right now, it's, as you can see, restoring the iPod software to 1.1.1. So, briefly, this is what we'll have to do. After we restore it to the 1.1.1, we have to go to the iPod Touch and in its Safari browser, go to jailbreakme.com and from there it will automatically jailbreak the iPod. Then we'll have to uh, go, which will be a second video, and put this application that will allow you to jailbreak the iPod in 1.1.2 you will have to downgrade to 1.1.1 and do this whole process if you want it for the software version 1.1.2 just in case uh, it's finished it's just saying verifying iPod software it'll be a minute or so so as you can see this is a really quick process um, you don't have to download anything since everything in this video will be included as I said in the about this video I prefer doing it step by step uh, so you guys know exactly what's going on I'm not doing anything else as you can see in the computer I just have iTunes open so that's about it uh, people have also asked me do you recommend me jailbreaking my iPod do you think it's worth it um, Apple is going to release something, I'm not sure what it is, but in the next month. So you'll be able to install third party apps. So if you can wait that long, uh, it's up to you. I jailbroke it, I find no problems, like I said. Then I'll just factory restore it, I'll do it again. The only thing that you lose is your music and your movies. But you can just sync that back up in iTunes. So now it says restoring iPod firmware. This is the last step. So, it says right now, 
This message will be dismissed in 10 seconds. It's restoring the iPod. So what I'll do is just disconnect it. Like that. And just plug it back in. The reason why I disconnected it was because the first time I did it, I left it on and for some reason it didn't work. Or something like that. So just disconnect it so there's no problem. And now it says restore the backup. I'm going to put no. We can do this later. I'm just going to put continue. Name my iPod really fast. You can do this too. So we'll be in the same step by step here. And done. It's finished. Slide to unlock. Now this is a part where you'll just need the iPod touch. The first thing I'll do is just put the brightening settings lower so you can actually see something. There we go. You have to connect yourself to a Wi-Fi network so this will work. So I'll connect myself to the default one which is in my house. Go back home and open the Safari browser. Just so you know it works. We'll go to yahoo.com. Done. My bad. There we go. Now you have to go to a website. I'll write again in the about me, about this video, sorry. I'll write what it's called. It's really easy. It's Joe Break Me dot com. Jailbreakme dot com. And this website will pop up called App Snap Installer for 1.1.1. .1. Go down to the end of the page and I'll say install app snap tap that in order to automatically install the jailbreak I mean the installer app this as I said it's really easy so once it's installed I'll show it to you uh, again this is uh, only the first part of the video the second part will show you how to be able to install it in the 1.1.2 so stick around for that and in my third video, I'll show you how to install the iPhone apps and all those cool apps that everyone loves. As you can see there, I have the installer, and it works perfectly. We'll donate later. It's refreshing its sources. Donate later. There we go. So we'll, you can just update it. And as I said, stay tuned for the next video, which will be up shortly. Goodbye, and take care.